My name is Wendy and welcome to the class. Um, today's class is all about um, yin and yang. And um, it's, I thought I would pick two of our radiant circuits, which are very yin and yang, which is our triple warmer and our spleen. I know hopefully you've been working through the classes over the last week and the rest of August, we're working on radiant circuits. Um, so we're working with triple warmer and spleen, who are like brother and sister. So, but at the moment, let's just spoon our feet for a moment and do the yin and the yang. So the palms of our hands and the palm and the soles of our feet are more yin, so you can massage. You can see what it's like to massage the top of the foot, which is more yang. You can also experiment the yin soft side of the spoon, or if you turn it over, the feeling is a little bit more yang because it's a little bit more scrapey. So it's just exploring yin and yang. So again, you can turn the spoon over. It'll feel more yang, it'll feel more harsh against the softness of the spoon. And again, you can do because we know we spoon everywhere. <laughs> so we can spoon the backs of the arms, which is more yang, or the inside of the arms, which is more yin. With yin and yang, we have day, we have night, we have the sun, we have the moon, we have hard and soft, male and female. So in every walks of life, we have a little bit of yin, a little bit of yang, but it's noticing the in-betweens as well. So not everything is hot, not everything is cold, everything you have got a little bit in the middle as well. So it's kind of the transitions as well between yin and yang. So we're going to experiment with that today. Um, again, we can do the head. And we've, I think you've experienced polarity where we bring the yin to the yang side of the body and we flip it so we can check with the polarity north and south yin and yang so it's kind of something that you can play with notice how things feel but we're going to explore now you can pop your spoon down and you can come back to this again but we're going to just come to stillness and we're going to look at the yin and yang of our breath so first of all, your choice, do you want to bring the yin down onto your knees, having that feeling of grounding, or do you want to bring the yang side of the hands onto your knees, which is more of kind of like the opening, receiving energy. And I'd like you to just close your eyes for a moment and just notice your breath. Notice the inhale and notice the exhale. some nice long deep breaths breathing in through the nose notice how this breath feels notice the expansion of the breath and then notice the exhale the contraction the drawing in of the body so the yin the filling up the expanding collapsing of the breath and then as we did with the hard and soft and the yin and the yang, notice the transition. Notice the pause, the silence. Just that transition from the inhale to the exhale. And we can have a play with the length of the inhale and the exhale and the transition between. So what's sometimes nice to do is we'll just breathe in maybe for a count of three. One, two, three, then pause in just for a count of one, and then exhaling for one, two, three, and then have that pause of one. So inhale, one, two, three, pause, exhale, one, two, three, and pause. Inhale, one, two, three, pause, and exhale, one, two, 
three, and four. And just do this with your own breath and just feel the stillness, the transition between the inhale and that just stillness before you exhale. And then at the end of the exhale, just having that pause before the inhale again. And really feel that transition as we move around the, um, the yin and the yang and how there is a little bit of yin in the yang and a little bit of yang in the yin. So we'll just take a couple more breaths in silence through the three. Together, rub the hands. Feel the energy between the palms and then shaking the hands up, and we'll come to our wake up. So, tapping underneath the eyes, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Squeeze your second toe if, if your feet are on the ground, squeeze that second toe into the earth. Slide the hands down, coming onto the the end of your kidney meridian. Just tapping in, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Almost feel like you're drawing the energy up. And again, notice, are you tapping soft? Are you tapping hard? Just notice, you don't need to make any changes, but just notice what your body needs. Coming to the thymus, middle of the chest. really boosting that immune system and coming around to the side to your spleen tapping here we're working with spleen today so this is just giving it a little extra pounding just really trying to draw the energy up and then shaking the hands just bring the hands onto the knees just see if you can feel the energy just starting to wake going to march on the squat, same hand to same knee. If it feels good to lift up the knee, you can lift up the knee. And then we'll brush that up. And then cross it over. Yin and yang, opposite hand, opposite knee. Just trying to get the energies moving to make you feel a little more awake, a little bit more alive. Good for clear thinking. And then shake the hands up, bring the hands in front of the body. Set yourself an intention, an affirmation. Something you're working with, it may be something you've been working with for a while, but really feel it. How will you feel when this comes to fruition? Have that feeling of joy, of love, of happiness. You can bring the hands up the front of the body, flipping the hands at the mouth, sending it up and out. We'll do this twice more with a smile, saying these words. Believing them, feeling them. And we'll do it once more, just drawing the energy up. And then sending it up and out. And then sealing it in, middle finger into the belly button, other middle finger onto the third eye. We push in and hook up three breaths. shape them off. So we want to do a little bit more with yin and yang, just getting you to feel the difference. So we're going to bring the hands by the side of the body and we're just slowly going to inhale. No, try not to think about it too much, but inhale, just bring the arms just up to about shoulder height and then exhale, slowly lower it down. No effort needed, just inhale, let the arms come up. <clears throat> and exhale. We'll do it again, just inhale, reaching, thinking, reaching the arms out to the side. And then exhale, lowering them down. I'd like to imagine that somebody's just lifting your arms up, so literally no effort at all, just let them just lift. No effort. And then they just drop down. We're gonna inhale, really no effort at all. And then they just lower. Really simply, you're not making any effort at all. And then letting 
going down. This time I want you to feel like you're lifting two heavy balls and you're lifting and reaching the arms up, just feeling it, just bringing it up as high as it'll go. And then turn the palms over and imagine pushing your ball and a ball under water. So you're really, really pushing down. Really feeling that it's not moving, just really trying hard. And then again, we have the balls in our hands, lifting them, reaching them. How hard is it to just lift your hands up through the air? And turning the palms over and pushing down really really pushing down as hard as you can so hard to move your hands even through the air and then last time you're going to inhale really try and lift up it's so hard to lift feeling the strength using all your strength as you can to lift your hands up and then turn and push all the way down amazing 